Hi there, welcome to 5-Minute Reviews. If you're new here, me and Lindsay are a married couple with no children and we just like to document our fun travels around the country and the globe. Today we do a 5-Minute Review on Breakers Montauk. Montauk is a cool little beach town at the end of the Hamptons and this is a very interesting kind of roadside, beachside motel. Uh, the drive out there is awesome. You pass all kinds of these little roadside shacks with cool uh, sandwiches and stuff. This is going to be our patio uh, for our little bungalow. We certainly liked some coffee in the morning, uh, cocktails in the afternoon, evening. We'll do a quick review uh, or walkthrough, rather, of the room in the patio here. So it's a very large patio, private patio. You've got uh, your picnic table. They had some cornhole games, some really cool chairs set up out there where there was families that would sit there and eat pizza and watch the sunset. I really got the sense that this is a place people return to year after year. A uh, great view of the beach out there. Now we'll walk through the bungalow. Got a little futon to the left here that you could put an additional sleeper on if you want. Some storage, large mirror, um, small dining table, and then the kitchenette area has a coffee machine, a small refrigerator, the AC unit on the wall that actually worked pretty well. Nice uh, bed, this is a very comfy bed, a little bit of closet space there. Both of those end tables did have uh, USB ports for your phones and devices. Small restroom and a shower area. The shower was pretty tight, it was a little, little tight, but it got the job done nonetheless come back out and, and you could see it's a nice high ceiling very airy nice little bungalow it was cool the windows bring in a lot of natural light I will say the walls were a little bit thin um, oh and they do have full utensils and stuff in the kitchen if you want to go to the local IGA and do some shopping cook in there to save some money this is just a view of kind of the lawn between all the bungalows there this is going to be there's a little shop there and then some food available up here it's kind of a snack bar on a deck overlooking the pool area down below uh, and some of the bungalows now some of these bungalows do share uh, but we have the private deck this is going to be just outside of the pool area and then looking back into the bar area so this is the bar area. It's underneath the gift shop there. They've got some local beers, um, decent selection of liquor. I'll have a close-up here of the liquor here in a moment. Yeah, there's the liquor, some margaritas and stuff. Now, I will say it was cripplingly expensive. If you look here, this is $25. That was for a single double Tito's. Very, very expensive drinks. But, hey, I mean, it is the Hamptons. Here's the pool. Cool little, um, you know, just very Hampton-y vibe kids were enjoying it and we had some bros across the other side that were having a good time everybody was very respectful and and there was no chachas or anything so this little sign here um, across the road will take you down a path that leads out to the beach proper this is a really cool stretch of beach here um, we were here in august the weather was pretty decent but um, waves were big I enjoyed it. Uh, Lindsay did not want to get in. They were a little big for her, but I had a lot of fun. There's some really big waves. Beach was cool. Uh, weather was nice and warm. Very clean. We enjoyed ourselves. The uh, bungalow does have these little chairs, beach chairs that you can carry over there that we did, so they were perfect. You just carry them over there, plop, a, plop it in the sand. We actually took our drinks from the bar. I'm not sure if you're allowed to, but we did. The resort has little bicycles that you can take to bike into town. Um, these lilac trees were between just about every bungalow. They did have a lot of bees pollinating, but just be nice to the bees. This is a super cool bar called the Montucket Inn. Really, really cool bar. Worth a trip. Uh, Shagawong Tavern, another cool bar. We had plenty of drinks here and had a great time here. Some other things to do in the area. Um, there's mini golf, a couple small breweries and bars and stuff that you can walk around to. Lots of shopping. This is a local beach club. I believe this is called Scarapetta Beach. A local beach club that has uh, brunches in the morning and stuff. Uh, I think this is some food from Scarapetta, some shrimp. Um, and so they do the brunch in the morning. This was an excellent brunch that was over there. Um, some cheese fries at the local sports bar. And then the Scarapetta also in the evening turns to more dining. So this was octopus. I think this is potatoes at brunch. And uh, this was just a roadside place that we checked. So we loved it. Um, highly enjoyed it. And there's no question we'll be back. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.